Welcome back everyone. This is chapter 18. We are going to learn about BTRFS sub-volume management. There is a feature called sub-volume management. BTRFS is a flexible file system and it's same as like logical volume. Let me create a sub-volume in this. In last chapter we have seen what is the uh, BTRFS file system and how to manage it. Here I have run the command ls minus lth or btrfs multiple inside that we can see there are three iso files i have created we can't able to see any directory in that now i am going to create a create two of the directory mkdir sub1 and sub2 the sub volume will be mounted under these two directories first of all we have created the directories now i am going to create the sub volumes for that btrfs sub volume create a slash btrfs multiple sub volume one okay the created the sub volume one was created under the btrfs multiple okay the second one i have created now we are going to mount those two created sub volumes under the sub one and sub two inside the btrfs multiple okay to mount it let me first list btrfs sub volume list btrfs multiple so once i point the point the mount point it will list the sub volumes inside that parent mount point and we have the id of and the level where the sub volumes were created Later we can see how to use those level and ID to mount and uh, to reflect the parent ID in the df-h output. Let me mount it, try to mount it now. Mount-t and the type of the file system is btrfs and that min minus o option hyphen o option. We need to specify the btrfs volumes. Okay. For that, mount minus t btrfs minus o sub volume is equal to volume, sorry, sub volume 1. Sub volume will be using the device dave sde under sub 1 directory. Okay. We are going to mount under sub1. Earlier I have said that the sub1 and sub2 is created under the btrf multiple. I am uh, uh, very sorry. We want to be created under the root file system. We can mount anywhere as an independent mount point. The two also I have used, I have mounted, managed to mount it. Mount minus t btrf minus o sub volume, sub volume 1 dev sde sub 1 and sub 2 we have listed the all the devices dev sde was mounted in three mount points btrfs multiple and sub 1 and sub 2 while i listing the file system under the btrfs multiple mount point we can see that two directories the sub volumes were created but they are mounted in a separate mount point in the root. Let me try to touch a test file inside the both of the sub volumes. Let us navigate to sub volume 1. We can see there is a file. Let me come back. Sub volume 2 and the file was there. All the file systems sub 1 and sub 2 are under the btrfs multiple file system but we have created sub volume and mounted independently under root there we can see the sde device is mounted in three places let me try to unmount it first you mount sub 1 and you mount sub 2 now btrfs sub volume delete let us try to delete the sub volume to remove a btrfs sub volume first of all we want to unmount it 
then btl sub volume delete then the mount point and the sub volume name okay successfully deleted both of the sub volumes are deleted you can see it's giving the message delete sub volume okay now the sub volume was not here only the files iso files are there before we can see there are sub volume 1 and sub volume 2 directories are there while the sub volumes are present but now it was removed we have successfully deleted the sub volume now let us see how to take a snapshot of the sub volume btrfs sub volume create i am going to take the snapshot of btrfs multiple and sub volume 1 let me create a sub volume first and take the snapshot of the sub volume 1 btrfs sub volume list BTRFS multiple. So there is only one sub volume. I am going to take this snapshot of uh, BTRFS multiple. There are no files. Let me try to copy one of the some of the files from the root directory. The ISO files. Under BTRFS sub volume. Okay. Once this file is copied. We can take a snapshot of this sub volume and let us see whether the snapshot is present or not. Okay, it's taking some little more time to copy those files, it's around only 700 MP. But this is a virtual machine which we are using to for this demonstration purpose, so it's taking a little bit time. All right, it's copied. The ISO files are there. The size was 758 MB. Let me take a snapshot now. PTRFS sub volume snapshot slash BTRFS multiple and sub volume. So this want to be pointed to where the snapshot want to be saved, the source and destination. So I want to uh, provide the destination as BTRFS multi multiple sub volume one snapshot. Okay, the, the snapshot was created now under BTRFS. The location of BTRFS multiple sub volume was snapshotted to BTRFS multiple sub volume snapshot. The same files we can see here. I have listed BTRFS multiple sub volume one snapshot. The files which present in the BTRFS multiple sub volumes are under the snapshot also. Same files are here. You can see all the files which present in the BTRFS multiple was present in the snapshot. Thus, we can manage the snapshot in BTRFS file system. It's a very easy one. In the next tutorial, we are going to learn about how to troubleshoot the Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7. Please subscribe to our channel. Thanks, thanks for watching.